Welcome to a, a rather unusual episode of Tea with Rich. I'm joined here by, um, well, my boss, in fact. Uh, it's not often you get to interview the boss. Uh, it's usually the other way around. But here I am with Andy David, CEO of Texera. Um, why are we here? Well, we're actually celebrating our 10th anniversary, 10 years of Texera. We're going to um, explore the past um, 10 years a little bit in this this special tea with Rich and Andy. Um, but as is the tradition, first of all, I should ask, would you care for a cup of tea? I'd love a cup of tea, thank you very much. You've already had your three cups of coffee this morning. I have. <laughs> so I suppose a, a good point to, uh, to start the conversation really is, what are the... What are the best moments of the last ten years? What are the what are the highlights? Can you pick a, a supreme moment for uh, for Texas? I think it's first, isn't it? So we you said it. We launched the magazine or we launched the company in twenty twelve, and and then for the next six months, well, the first thing we did was recruit recruit people, and you were, you were there right there, and and then. By the end of the year, there was five of us, and then we got the first magazine out in January 2013. And when you get your hands on the, the, the product of, of your, your dream, what you've thought about, what you've created, what you've considered, and then there it is, but tangible, that's, that's got to be up there with the biggest moments, because you just got to look at that. It's, it's actually, it's all real, it's real. And so, as, as we've said, this this year, twenty twenty two is our tenth anniversary. So, what, what's your what's the major overriding emotion that you're that you're feeling as we, you know, everything is is ten years of this, ten years of that. What's what's your overriding emotion? Um, I, I just I'm proud. I'm proud, particularly of the people. The people we've gone from five to fifty five. Number one, we've employed all of those people and provided you know, a family and a network and jobs for, for those people. We've, I think, we've, I'm hoping we've, injured, we've, we've provided some fun and a great place to be. But then we've gone into the market and we've provided a great um, vehicle for, the, for our readers to, to read, our contributors to, to get their content out and, and, and just do it a different way, be different to everybody else, which is what we've, I think we've achieved. Uh, uh, you know, be that quality mark. We've we've talked a little bit about um, you know the su the success of the company, um, and and I think you know you've also hinted at some of the the ingredients to that success. But what would you say was the sort of the biggest accomplishment if you could pick sort of one overarching thing over the last ten years? I think Texera has changed the way scientists receive and read content f about their subjects, if you like. We injected the human element into it because we said the gap we spotted in 2012 was, we, we said we want to tell the stories of science. We, we want to not just talk about the, the, the science itself. We want to say, what was the Eureka moment? What, what happened? How, 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 did you, how did you find that? Did you trip over and something clever happened to you that you never thought would? What, what happened? And, and when we talk about the, the interesting human aspect of the industry and actually the people that work in the industry and demonstrate that this is a, a collective group of human beings who happen to be working science with the normal fun and the normal games that, that, that humans have. And, and that made it more interesting for people and, and just took it from a different angle. And the in, real interesting thing is now we're being copied. Yeah. And, and the fact that we're being copied is probably indicative that we're doing something that other people are thinking, we should have done that, and now they're trying to. Another focus we had on people, which was a bold move for a young, <laughs> a young company moving into new markets, was the, the launch of the Power Lists, which we've, we've done on all of our brands. Can you tell me a little bit about your um, experience of the power list and people's reaction to it? We launched the power list. We, we, we had this idea that it would be interesting to produce something for the sciences that, that looked at the various aspects, would be top 100 or the top 
people under 40 or various other twists and turns that we've come up with. And, and, um, and it was really to just say, to, to help people strive to be, to be better and to really t- actually celebrate the people who really are, are extremely good at what they do and, have, and, 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 and are celebrated by their peers because this isn't, well, this isn't us voting for this. This is going out to the scientists and saying, who do you think are the best? And they, and they come back and tell us. So we, so we, 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 we published, the first power list we published was the analytical scientist. And, uh, 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 and it, it came out and almost immediately we were in the Wall Street Journal as in today's analytical scientist, the power list celebrating the analytical scientists of the world. And we sat there, we were shocked because we'd, we'd just launched it. it. It was an idea. We thought it was kind of cool and it would be important, and it worked, uh, to the point where the Wall Street Journal picked it up. We've celebrated the past 10 years, yep. um, and I think giving thanks to our, you know, our contributors, yep. our partners, our readers. But it's also a time to look ahead to the next 10. Yep. What does TechSera have in store for, um, for the world? For the world. We constantly look at, um, brands and products so that we can stay up to date. Uh, we've just launched the new optometrist uh, very recently. Uh, we have another brand, I can't tell you the name, but it's on the runway. We have a list of, of potential that we research. We, we bought URLs. We're always thinking what, what, what is the next important thing uh, to talk about. It's just trying to stay one step ahead and, and keep, on, keep on working. Oh, and having fun. <laughs> no, don't forget the fun. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. If you could, if you could say something to all of our, I suppose, extended family, our, our partners, readers, contributors, do you have a, 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 a single message that you'd like to, to convey as we, as we celebrate our 10th birthday? Well, the, 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 the simple fact is we wouldn't be here without the extended family of readers, of contributors, of partners, sponsors. So I would say thank you. Thank you for giving us a chance. Thank you for giving us that first chance in that first year and then continuing to stick with us through the years and helping us grow because we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for the extended family. Well, thank you so much, Andy, for, uh, for joining me for, for, for this episode of Tea with Rich. And perhaps you could, perhaps you could do a, a, a top up. Thank you.